Um, we have a lovely program for you tonight, quite a varied program, um, and I hope you all enjoy it. So maybe we should, uh, maybe we should start. We've got Aileen here, Sandy Francis, Rilla Ruth and Sherlock in the first part. We're starting not in the order that you've got on your programs, but we're starting with Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, followed by the canon of two violins and piano, followed by Prelude D, D minor, and the Allegro and Andante. Okay, so let's get going. Thank you. 
the support and I hope we've given you something a bit different and fun to do on a rainy Saturday night in Kukubri. Um, so I'm Rachel, for those of you who don't know me, and I'm just about to finish a degree in psychology. And um, what I'm going to do when I graduate is I'm going to travel to Sri Lanka um, for three months to volunteer on a clinical psychology placement. Um, Sri Lanka, you can look at it on the map, it's often called the teardrop of India. It's an island in the shape of a teardrop and it's just at the very tip of the south of India. Um, Sri Lanka, as you may know, has had a pretty traumatic past in the last, for a long time. Um, in 2008, uh, that marked the end of the civil war that lasted for around 26 years. Um, and over the course of the war, they estimate that between 60,000 and 100,000 100, um, people uh, died. And during that time, there was the Asian tsunami, as you know, and in 2004, the estimate around 35,000 people died in Sri Lanka alone. Um, so there is a lot of um, repercussions from that for those who are left behind, obviously. And um, there's a big psychological um, impact from all of that um, trauma and grief that went on. So um, the project that I'm going to volunteer with um, worked to try and remedy that a little bit um, by they've developed specific therapies, trauma therapies, in a Sri Lankan context to deal with the um, specific problems that have occurred there. And um, the, they've teamed up with King's College London and SLV volunteers who, is, who, are, who I'm going with. And SLV organise voluntary um, projects that are degree specific. So students, so that they get something out of the people that come as well. So they can bring in people that have degrees in psychology, for example, to help out in mental health or people that have medical degrees or people that have occupational health or English and languages and they can help um, in the schools as well.